Hello, my name is Adam Novak and welcome to the course on 3D printing. First, we'll look at a generic 3D printer, what's required to make a 3D printer work and how it does this. All 3D printers need a 3D printing nozzle in which the filament is heated up and extruded through using a stepper motor. This extrusion process will take place on top of our print bed, so our object will be built slowly layer by layer on top of our printing bed. These print beds in their most generic forms will either be heated or non-heated. Though myself, I definitely prefer the heated bed forms. Printing on a non-heated bed can be very difficult, in particular when printing with filaments which require very high temperatures. Now all we have to do is control this nozzle to be moved along its three axes by using stepper motors. It is important to use stepper motors because of the way your stepper motors operate. I'll create a video on stepper motors specifically in the future, subscribe to stay in touch. So since we have stepper motors controlling all three axes, and since stepper motors work by using very precise steps, all we need to do is to home these stepper motors first, or the axes, so there is an origin which they are operating from. In 3D printing terms, this origin is called its home position, which is set by hitting three mechanical sensors one for each axis. Once the nozzle and the bed has hit its home position, the printing process can start one layer at a time, building up much like a 2D printer, but one layer on top of each other until we have a physical 3D object. So if we can see, for example, the nozzle will move first along its X axis, and then its Y axis, and then the bed will move along its Z axis. And then by combining the two axes of the X and Y together, we can see the stepper motors or the nozzle can make some very smooth and fluid movements such as the circle we can see here. This whole process in its most simplest form is being powered by a power source and a computer chip. There may be one or two relays involved in this, though this computer chip will control all the stepper motors, the sliced file, and all the additional information required to create our 3D print. Now let's have a look at how a 3D printer will actually print our object. The 3D printer does not understand 3D files. So first we have to slice up our object into slices that the 3D printer understands. These slice layers would be the layer higher, as the 3D printer prints every layer one layer at a time on top of each other. This is my interpretation of half a sphere with 10mm radius being sliced in 0.2mm layers. Now let's have a look at how the actual 3D printer creates our object physically. It will first create the first slice using the input settings that we have input. As we can see there are two outside shells. That's because we have set it to have two outside shells. And then it will continue by infilling the first layer completely. Once the printer has completed the first layer, it will simply drop the Z axis by the layer height required and then continue on the next layer. It will first start by doing its two shells again as we have input, and then it will continue by infilling over the next layer at a 90 degree angle from its previous layer. The 3D printer will simply continue this process one layer at a time, extruding through the nozzle using a stepper motor inside the nozzle, controlling its X, Y and Z axes, and creating every slice layer one layer at a time until we have created our 3D object. Now we'll have a quick look at our half sphere at 10 millimeters being printed in front of us. We will compare this with our 3D simulation to see whether this is an accurate estimate of how a 3D printer works. And I think by looking at the image on the right here that we can see a very similar result to what we have simulated in the 3D environment. I will be simulating much of this course. That's because most of this information, almost all of it, should be transferable to other 3D printers. And in that way, it could be applicable to almost everyone. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe or support us on Patreon.